Hello and good morning, it's Heather and Phil, and I apologize about this shot being so extremely backlit, but you'll get it in a few minutes because we are here on our back porch, AKA the bird studio, and today is hummingbird day. Uh, I usually only do one day of hummingbird photography because you know we've got basically one shot to get and um, don't wanna do that every single day. But uh, this morning is the day and Heather has broken her foot and so she's in a wheelchair and she's using the Z50 with the FTZ adapter and the 18 to 400 Tamron lens which gives her 600 millimeters effective uh, focal length. I've got the Z6 which is full frame. I've got the 500 F4 the 1.4 teleconverter on the FTZ, so that gives me 700 millimeters full frame equivalent. But her lens has a much closer minimum focus distance, and once these birds get used to us, we've got about three that we've been seeing since we put the hummingbird feeder out a week or so ago. Once they get used to us, I'll be able to roll her forward a little bit, and uh, so we should have just about the same focal length uh, when you consider distance from subject. I've got to be all the way back here. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get going and uh, we'll show you the results soon. So there's Heather sitting over there, extremely backlit. But if you look over here, there is the hummingbird feeder. And in the morning, you've got direct sunlight on the feeder and the little branch there where the birds will hang out. And once I quit talking and doing video clips, then they should come back. Heather's already gotten a shot or two, enough to help her dial in her settings. It's time for me to get started. All right, well, the Z50 pictures are Heather's and the Z6 pictures down at the bottom left are mine. And here's Heather's photograph of a perched ruby-throated hummingbird on the Leland Cypress. And here is my photograph of the perched ruby-throated hummingbird there on the Leland Cypress. We made uh, a number of photos over the course of a couple of hours and here's another one of mine. Uh, early in the day I had to crop them pretty tight because they were staying pretty close to the bird feeder but I had a solution to that a little bit later. Here's Heather's photograph. Now I could not have made this photograph because I couldn't get far enough away from this flower but with the 18 to 400 and its close minimum focus distance Heather was able to make that shot. And here is another one of my shots of the hovering ruby-throated hummingbirds as they would hit the bird feeder and then back up. Now here is a juvenile male, I believe, that Heather has photographed. And I didn't get any photographs of males, but Heather did manage to land some male photographs. And here's another one of my photos. I really love these beautiful birds. And this is at 1 1600th of a second and their wings are still covered in motion blur. Um, the sun, as it came up, kind of got behind some trees, and we had some shade for just a little while. And here's an example of how I fixed the bird feeder. You can see it, and then I'll talk about what I actually did to make the birds go where I want them to. Here's a tip if you have a hummingbird feeder with multiple feeding stations on it, but there's only one that has the hummingbird go where you want it to go to make your shot. I just took some really thin nails and dropped them down into this feeder spot, this feeder spot, and this one. And now their only choice to get that sugar water is to go right here. And uh, when I made that change, it put the birds right where we needed them to be. Also, um, you know, we've been out here a while and kind of struggling to be honest with you. And I keep spooking the birds because, you know, Heather's sitting there perfectly still in her wheelchair and I'm going all over the place. And, uh, but now that the sun has cleared those trees over there, we're shooting at really fast shutter speed. Uh, I think we're both at one thirty-two hundredth of a second. So that In this clip, you can see the hummingbird come. Nope, there's a nail. Nope, there's a nail. Nope, there's a nail. Aha, now I can get my sugar water. And that's exactly the place where Heather and I could get good shots. And we would let the bird feed, and then as it backed up like that, then we'd fire. Feed, fire, feed, fire, 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 fire. And so that's how we made these photographs. You uh, 
you get a, a hummingbird in flight photo, you know, usually within six to 12 inches of a bird feeder is how it works out for us anyway. And now these next photos will be at one thirty two hundredth of a second because the sun had cleared the trees and I had put those nails in there. And now you can see I can make these photographs wider because the, uh, the other holes in the bird feeder are blocked and the birds are always going right where I need them to go. And when they backed up, I had more space at the side of the feeder. Here is uh, Heather's photograph, another perched photo. Very beautiful. I love the background in this. And if you look at the next photograph, this is my photo of the same bird perched on the exact same spot in the Leland Cypress. You know, we were there shooting together. So a lot of our photographs are similar. And it was fun spending the day with Miss Heather. Here's another one of Heather's photographs and doggone it she got another male that I didn't get a photo of so that is interesting and let's see whose this is. This is another one of Heather's and it's another male. Really beautiful. I don't think the 18 to 400 lens uh, uh, bokefies the background as good as the uh, 500 f4 but it, the 500 f4 cost about 10 times as much so there you have it and now here is some more video that i made with the xt3 and the 55 to 200 lens over here there you go no those aren't working come over here on the other side, dude. We hope you enjoyed those photographs and maybe there was a little bit of video in there. We've been out here for a couple hours and it's getting super, super hot here on August the... 16th. August the 16th of 2020 and southeast tennessee and uh anyway so we're going to go inside and take a look and see if any of those are any good and we appreciate you watching hope you have a great day and we look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye